Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, we're doing a Legends Fantasy Draft as the New England Patriots. Let's start drafting. Hop right into it. What pick are we going to get? Number eight. Very interesting. Michael Thomas off the board. I wasn't realistically going to take him, though. Do we start out with a quarterback? or We could go with a younger player if we wanted to. I don't really want to do that. I kind of want to go with John Elway. I just recorded a Legends Fantasy Draft right before this, and they won a Super Bowl. He was with the Broncos, don't get me wrong. But let's add John Elway to the team. 96 overall with that normal development. I do wish, I know I say this all the time, I wish they had the developments. Terry Bradshaw off the board. That would be interesting one of these times. Add him to our team. Receiver. I kind of want to go Julio Jones, Randy Moss. But there's so many great receivers here. So maybe we load up on the defense. Reggie White seems good. Jason Taylor. I don't want to go Joe Green. Von Miller's there. But I kind of like to go with the older players. Do we go maybe Ray Lewis or Brian Erlacher? Oh, Dick Buckus is way down here. Singletary as well. Patrick Willis. Now we have another pick basically right after this. So we don't have to reach too bad. Deion Sanders is always there just like smacking me in the face like come on it's Deion Sanders you have to take him but I think we're gonna do no I wanted Brian Erlacher why did it go back up that is so so disappointing I was really gonna take Brian Erlacher why would it I went down and then went back up didn't do it that time though Lawrence Taylor why not come on down I can't believe that that would have just been a lot of fun because I think we've taken Ray Lewis so many times and I really don't want to do that again, but too late now. Now, do we go with that left outside linebacker, Von Miller, who's still there for some reason? I'm going to have to. He has that superstar X factor. I feel like that's what's holding us back from taking out the, like, the next step, winning a Super Bowl in this. Now, let's go receivers. Let's get Steve Smith on the team. I want to see what his speed is in this. 95 with 97 acceleration. Seems pretty good. Now, Atwater's there, who I believe was just added or it's like to the Hall of Fame, right? Wasn't he one of them? I kind of want to look this up real quick. Let's go NFL Hall of Fame inductees to add to the word I was looking for last video. Let's see. Edwin James got in. That's right. Yes, Steve Atwater. Let's add a Hall of Famer. Why not? 98 overall, normal development. I would like to get some more receivers for my guy. Then again, we, I feel like I should add Terrell Davis, right? Doesn't that just seem like the perfect fit, you know? Let's get Chris Carter on the team. I think I will reach right now for Terrell Davis. I'm trying to think who else did like Elway have on his Super Bowl team. I'm going to look that up. John Elway? I, I can't think of who he would have. Did he have Ed McCaffrey? That sounds right in my head. I don't know if it is, though. There's Terrell Davis. Let's go. Let's go down. Wikipedia. 97 overall for Terrell Davis. Not that bad. Let's go with this Super Bowl. I don't know which one this would be. XX, that's 33? That has to be 33. Can I see their rosters? Starting lineups. Rod Smith was on the team. Ed McCaffrey. See, and Shannon Sharp. I feel like we should bring them all back together. Just seems right, you know? Who do we have on defense? We need some corners, so let's get Willie Brown on the team. 91 overall. By the way, if you never watched one of my Legends Fantasy Draft videos before, I do about 20, 21 rounds. We see what the team looks like, sim the season, see if we can win the Super Bowl. I kind of want to get Shannon Sharp on the team right now. There he is. Let's add him to the team so we get all of them back together. I guess we don't have Ed McCaffrey quite yet. I don't feel he'll still be here. If he is, I'm going to add him. Do we? Oh, we already taken two receivers. Ed McCaffrey. I don't know where he would be. Oh, there he is. Add him to the team. 88 overall. I would like to get his son on the team, but that's just not going to happen. I didn't really even put that together because I knew about Ed McCaffrey when Christian McCaffrey was drafted. It just didn't like, in my head, didn't go together. I don't know. That's the best way to put it. Let's get Larry Allen on the team. Try to build up the offensive line for good old John Elway. I would like to see who else does he have. Let's get Larry Little. Who do you have on the offensive line? He had Tony Jones, Mark Slareth. I know that name. Tom Nalen, Dan Neal, and Harry Swain. I don't know any of those guys other than Slareth, obviously, but that's just because he's on ESPN or was on ESPN. I don't know if he still is. Uh, let's go with the left end. I'm going to go Javon Curse. I'm more of a Javon Curse kind of guy. 
Um, where do we want to go with this pick? Probably another end, I would assume. Or maybe a corner? Geno Atkins is there. I took Jeff Coat last time. Let's get Howie Long on the team. Now we're at round 16. We need a strong safety still. Who do we have at strong safety? Eh, I don't really see anybody, but I guess I'll go with Jack Christensen just because he's a 91 overall. That's another instant that I have no idea who that is. Ronnie Stanley off the board. We need a right tackle, left tackle, and a center. Let's add Andrew Whitworth. He has that superstar development, so that's good to add to the team. I don't like that Madden kind of, or Madden 20 at least, favors having good development guys. Just seems, I, I guess, I, I can understand why they would do it. I just don't like it. That's the best way to put it. Let's get Forrest Gregg on the team, 91 overall. And then maybe if Matt Burke's there, maybe I'll just go Jeff Saturday. Just to mix it up a little bit. But I feel like when you have a high overall guy, you should just take him, right? Let's go with uh, two overalls, not that big of a deal. 94 overall, Jeff Saturday. So we're fine on offense now. So we have to round out the defense. I'm going to do two more picks. We need a quarterback. We need a defensive tackle. Let's go with Trevor Price, 86 overall, normal development. And then hopefully there's some sort of corner here that we could take. And then we'll just sim the rest. What do we have? Let's go Chris McAllister. So I drafted a 97 overall team, 99 offense, 96 defense, and I love this offense. Hopefully, with all his usual suspects on his team, John Elway can carry this team to the playoffs. We also have Julian Edelman on the team. Pretty good playoff guy. And our defense, we're looking really good. So let's go to the playoffs. We won our division at 11 and five. We'll play against the nine and seven Oakland Raiders, or I guess they're now the Las Vegas Raiders. The Jets seven and nine, the Bills six and 10, and the Dolphins two and 14. Let's look at the stats. Elway about 4,000 yards, 37 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Awesome year. Davis about 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns. Receiving Smith about 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. Awesome. Ed McCaffrey 732 with 11. Shannon Sharp, 703, two touchdowns. Carter with four. Davis with four. On defense, what do we have? Ray Lewis, 100 tackles. That should be Erlacher. Sack totals, wow. 18 for Vaughn Miller, 15 and a half for Taylor, 15 for Curse, seven and a half for Howie Long. Interceptions, five for McAllister, two for Atwater, Jefferson, Christian, uh, Christensen, Brown, and Minifield. Let's go take a look at the Yili Awards. Plunkett with the MVP, really? Jim Everett, number two. John Elway with our guy, number three. Dan Marino's up there. Staubach, Rogers, Otto Graham's up there. Coach of the year. We are number four, which is good to see. AFC Offensive Play of the Year, Elway, two. No other Patriots. Defensive Play of the Year, Von Miller. I love to see that. No other Patriots. Offensive Rookie, John Elway. This stuff doesn't matter. Joe Terrell Davis at number 10. Defensive rookie. Do we have anything up here? We do not. Bob Sanders, though, on the Colts at number 10. That's kind of funny to see. Now, I don't have my XP sliders on, so let's give it a quick upgrade. We have two for Cam Robinson, one for Von Miller, Jimmy Graham, and Aaron Jones. Have some good running backs on this team. Can we beat the 9-7 Oakland Raiders? Yes, we can. Can we beat the 11-5 Denver Broncos? Make it to the AFC Championship, we can. But now we're playing against the 13-3 Cleveland Browns. That's going to be a tough game to win. We have a lot of guys that step up in the playoffs, and we're playing against the Giants. Wow. Let's hop in. Can we beat the 10-6 New York Giants in the Super Bowl? They're already up 7-0. Now it's 14-0. This is not a good sign. 17-7 in the second quarter. And we're not getting anything done right now. Okay, a little bit closer, though. 24 to 14 in the third, 24 21. Elway Edelman, can you step up? It's 31 21, and the game is over. Come on. Can't John Elway step up? Playing against Aaron Rodgers, too. Come on. Elway, 356, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Rodgers, 171, two touchdowns, one interception. Davis, 75 yards. OJ Simpson, 77 yards. Megan with a touchdown. Rodgers with a touchdown. Ed McCaffrey, 95 yards. Carter, 79 with two touchdowns. Gary Collins, 68 yards with a touchdown. Steve Smith with a touchdown. And a touchdown for Andre Reid. All right, kind of disappointing that we lost like this, but that is going to be it for this video. 
If you liked the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.